What's going on guys, WrestleNet here. This is my first video on this channel and in this video I will let AI give me the predictions for the Elimination Chamber which is in about 5 hours uh, time in Australia. And well, let's not talk too much nonsense and just get into it, right? Hit the intro. And starting off, I asked ChatGPT this time to give me some predictions for it. And the first match is the Kabuki Warriors against Candice LeRae and Indy Hartwell. And Indy Hartwell, which is of course performing in front of her home audience, like Rhea and also Grayson. But Grayson isn't even on the card as a wrestler, so yeah, we'll see about that. But still, the first match was will be on the kickoff show officially which will be free to watch if you want to watch it you can even watch it on youtube i will also be live so make sure to check in and tune in for the live first match kabuki warriors against kendis Ray and also indy hartwell for the women's tag team championships as you see here ai had a little bit of trouble of predicting it at first because chat gpt says that he can give out information about predictions in the future of what's going to happen. We'll need to watch a show. But still, after a little bit of convincing, we still got it done. And this is what ChatGPT had to say. As our AI said, he has the Kabuki Warriors retaining the titles, um, which does make sense a bit if you think about it, because... You could let them lose the titles, but then the whole damage control storyline kind of loses the touch of championship material inside of it. You know, you have Eos Guy, which is the champion. You have the Kabuki Warriors, which are the champions. And now you have Bailey and Dakota Kai against them. And why not leave the championships in there? And maybe next week on SmackDown, also have... Bailey and Dakota Kai compete for the championships, you know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, me personally, I still don't see them lose or drop the titles. I mean, it's a kickoff show. I mean, that doesn't say much nowadays, but still. I, I think AI has a good prediction on this one. Now, let's straight get into the second match well the first official match of the night as from what i've seen the first match should be the judgment day damian priest and finn balor the, the wwe tag team champions of raw and smackdown against tyler bait and pete dunn well i'm not i'm not the biggest fan of tyler bait on pete i'm not the biggest fan of tyler bait and pete dunn I mean, in the end, I'm not the biggest fan of tag teams that aren't bringing anything entertaining to the table. I mean, they're super good in ring. Don't get me wrong. They're one of the best wrestlers in the whole industry, real wrestlers. But I personally don't see the judgment. they losing the titles simply and purely because of the fact that, in my opinion, this is a pretty weak team to lose them against. You may want to lose them at WrestleMania against the awesome truth, of course. That's what we are rooting for, for something like Sami and KO 2.0, like last year, right? And that would definitely make the whole tag team division and everything more interesting than um, uh, letting Tyler Bate and Pete Dunn get into WrestleMania with the titles, even though they could still lose them on Raw or SmackDown. But let's see what AI had to say about this match. Yeah, so AI is still taking part of the champions and the defending champions. So AI has Finn Balor and Damian Priest win the match again. Maybe we'll have some interference from the Judgment Day. Maybe not. You, you never know with them. But... As I said, that was my opinion too. So AI is two on two with my opinion. So yeah, let's see. You never know. I mean, tag team titles could switch any day. 
it's not like Roman's title that you just know that he'll n- not lose in the next match, whoever it is against, only at WrestleMania, maybe. That's that. That's the problem. Nowadays, WWE is super predictable. But when it comes to like the smaller titles, they like to mix it up because they never change the big titles. Like Seth, one year almost. Roman, three years. Gunter, I think, two years. So it's it's gotten to a point where it's pretty boring watching those fights because you just know the outcome. And that was for match two. Now for match three, I think that it won't be Naya and Rhea because they want to have it as the second main event to the men's WWE Elimination Chamber match. So I think it's going to be the women's Elimination Chamber. Now let's see what AI thinks about it. So I've told AI all the women that are inside the Elimination Chamber match and told AI a little bit of backstory on every single woman that Tiffany Stratton, for example, is new, is coming from NXT, a bit arrogant. So, yeah, so AI knows about it. But um, me personally, I root for Becky. My girlfriend is a big Becky fan. Uh, I'm also a Becky fan. I mean, I, I, I was a Sasha fan, but she's not here anymore. So, yeah. I'm I switched to Becky because of my girlfriend so uh, I still hope Becky but AI seems to have another outcome and AI says that Bianca the EST of WWE is coming out of Elimination Chamber as the winner and facing probably Rhea Naya Rhea at WrestleMania for the title I mean Personally, I wouldn't see the sense in it because I'd rather have Bianca and Jade um, compete against each other at WrestleMania. That would be a more compelling match for Bianca than just have Bianca um, face Rhea, you know. Um, I'd rather have Becky against Rhea because we we didn't have that. Or, in the worst way, also I would love to see Naomi. Naomi coming back at Royal Rumble and now she's a full-timer again. I would love to see her back at WrestleMania competing against Rhea. Or Nia, you never know. But, I mean, let's be honest. And this brings me to our co-main event between Nia Jax and Rhea Ripley. The home-born Aussie, the... How can you call it? I don't even know it in English. So. She's coming back. She's coming back home for the first time, and she's the champion. So that has to mean a lot. The fans, even though she's a heel, the fans will be super over for her. They're all gonna be mommy, mommy, you know, all that. The same with Grayson. We saw it at the press conference. The, Aus- the Aussies, they go wild this week. They go wild. So it's going to be an amazing, electrifying crowd. It's definitely going to be super amazing. And yeah, AI picks Rhea retaining it against Naya. Me personally, same. I see every single champion this night, this day, this morning for me. It's going to be 11 in the morning. Right now it's six and i'm gonna post this in about 20 minutes i'm going to sleep for five minutes uh, hours waking up and watching it with you guys um still i as i told you i see Rhea winning it because it just makes more sense Rhea is more fresh she's younger she's she has that hunger of and passion she just you can see it in her eyes when she uh, she wrestles in the matches naya it's very controversial. People hate her, but she's not really hated as a heel. She's hated as Nia Jax, the fi- the person, the wrestler that she's just uncomfortable to wrestle with from everything that I've seen in the on the internet. So I see Rhea 
retaining at home. I mean, she's at home. They wouldn't make a Montreal screw job 2.0. So, yeah, I see Aria winning. So, me and AI are three for four, I think. Yeah. Now, coming to my personal main event, maybe, probably, even, Rhea will be the main event. But in my opinion, this, I don't think we had such a stacked Elimination Chamber match for the men's in a long time. And now, let's see what ChatGPT slash AI has to say about it. Well... ChatGPT says that Drew McIntyre will overcome the odds, emerge as a victor, earning himself a shot at the World Heavyweight Championship against Seth. And personally, back when I started watching wrestling again in the pandemic in 2020, when there was the Thunderdome and everything, I got this title just because of Drew. I was a big Drew guy. And even now, I can't hate him being a heel and my whole life i was always rooting for the faces i i was never rooting for the heels but since the pandemic it kind of changed a bit and drew i like drew even better now than i liked him before because i've seen that before he he had that strive but something was missing and now he's really onto something breaking CM Punk's arm, going on a rampage that he doesn't get his shot. He just wants his shot at WrestleMania and it would make perfect sense to have him win the Elimination Chamber, as already, uh, as already our AI said. And it would make the most sense just having him in Philadelphia, fighting with Seth, Seth who we already know is partially injured. He can fight at WrestleMania, I'd probably, but it will probably be the last match for some months. So it would make kind of sense to have Drew win the chamber, Drew go into the main event of WrestleMania, and also win it in front of the fans. The thing is, now as a heel, he won't get the same reaction. But you have to also consider... The rumor that is going around with Sami Zayn somehow fighting his way into that match, having a triple threat match like Edge, Roman, and Daniel Bryan back in the day. Me personally, I don't know about it. I mean, Sami isn't even in the chamber. I'm not sure. But maybe there's a spot left in the chamber because at SmackDown, we saw Bobby Lashley with a hand, with a broken hand or an injured hand from what you could have seen in that cameo. So you never know. Maybe you will see him punk. That would be something I would hope for. Last in the video, it was long, but it's an amazing first video. I feel so good to finally record it and also upload it. I hope you like it. If you like it, please subscribe. Let's grow this channel. Give a follow. Um, comment. Please comment your predictions. What do you think? Who will win every single match? And please, please, please engage. I just want to make this wrestling channel dedicated for us wrestling fans so we can all talk together as a whole community and i'll maybe also open up a discord we can all, all also talk on that we can also talk on there and thanks for watching the video and yeah wrestlemat out